Someday we'll get paid for this. When you're overwhelmed by loss and don't know what to do, make a single call to someone who does. Pinecrest Funeral Home and Cemeteries, 251-478-5227. Caring for people, making a difference. Michael Crichton, Studs Terkel, Charles Wright, three literary lions dead today. Hello, I'm Andrew Paskey McElhoney. And I'm Greg Giovanni. Welcome to the program, November 18th, 2008. Dead today, uh, this fortnight, uh, the big pop name is Michael Crichton. Andromeda Strain, Jurassic Park, Disclosure. Well, mm. Andromeda Strain I read when I was very young. And the beauty of that novel is that it has graphs and pictures and um, science info. Like, that's probably his best studied novel. Mm -hmm. And then he just kind of formulated after that. Mm -hmm. But um, Andromeda Strain, you know, and the movie wasn't. You know, the movie Certainly, wasn't I mean, scared the heck out of me. He's his own industry was... with ER, the television show, and uh, absolutely, absolutely the Jurassic Park films. Another literary figure who uh, recently left us November first of this year was Studs Terkel, author of Working and countless other uh, text. Uh, working, of course, also the source for the musical, uh, which is one of my favorite stage shows. But uh, really, I, yeah, I, well, I really like it. It's a good for an ensemble cast, and you know, it's an ensemble yeah. musical. What else was on his, uh, what else has, is to his credit? Division Street, America, Hard Times and Oral History of the Great Depression. That was uh, an amazing book. I, I did read some of that. Also in the literary world this fortnight, uh, Charles Wright. Charles Wright, who I have uh, his collected novels right here. He just wrote Only three, three novels. novels? Only three novels in mm -hmm. ten years. He wrote angry, angry African-American novels. Mm -hmm. um, Donald Goins or Robert Dean Farr? Sort of in that ilk, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the Messenger is probably his most noted. Mm -hmm. the, the collection is my favorite title. Absolutely nothing to get alarmed about. <laughs> 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 and um, in memory, since he has left this world, I would like to read just a short passage that we, uh, beautiful passage that Andrew found at random. An elderly couple were eyeing me. I heard the man mutter to his wife, it's all right, Wilma. Times are changing. Remember the first automobile, World War I? We can't escape what we never dreamed because we always believed it was impossible. Wilma, please don't cry. We'll be dying soon, and then we won't have to look at such sights. He meant me. Pretty amazing. Amazing. Uh, locally, uh, there was a death that uh, really struck me. Austin Comer Jr., who for many years was on... Um, the uh, 12, 10 a.m. talk radio stations and a late night host, really also a great radio host fill-in. So, you know, sometimes you'd turn in for a regular call-in program and he would be the guest host, and it was always a real privilege. Uh, one of the first African-Americans in broadcasting, um, lived to uh, mid-80s. Uh, it's certainly, uh, mid sorry to, yeah. to lose him, and along with losing radio, I mean, you know, less well, less. that was than, the absolute end of local radio, you know? WCAU, yeah. Also, infamous personages, uh, one Arthur J. Shawcress. Oh, the serial killer. The serial killer of Rochester. Wasn't New there York. that controversy about his stuff being on eBay? and? Uh, well, yes. Well, he was serving uh, a life sentence. 120 life sentences. Um, not that he killed that many, but, you know. Uh, How many you know, people did he kill? Uh, they, they, he was tried for 10. Okay. So, mostly prostitutes. He also killed uh, two children. Oh. They found out he was selling his uh, autobiography and his paintings to supporters via eBay online. So they slapped him into solitary, and no one had seen him since, and he's dead today. Mm -hmm. Now, dead today in history. There have been a lot of deaths in November. A lot of showbiz people have died in the second half of November, and I thought we should remember today Natalie Wood. Uh, who died, uh, drowned, um, Cary Grant, uh, John Carradine, the great character actor, um, Oscar Wilde, playwright Eugene O'Neill. Either this wallpaper goes or I do. That's dying words. Mm -hmm. uh, Mishima. Mishima, yeah, killed himself. Mm -hmm. Tolstoy, 
and uh, a very long life. Yes. Very long life. And, um, yeah. Of course, I guess the two notable uh, late November passings are uh, Jim Jones's Cult of Gehenna. Uh, two notable. Uh, well, <laughs> well, yeah. and two hundred. Uh, two. How many? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. I think it was in the hundreds. And then uh, uh, the the assassination of John F. Kennedy on November twenty second, nineteen sixty three, which uh, really is as an access point in uh, in American history. I think. So uh, let's uh, let's take a moment of silence for them and uh, remember those people who have left us, and uh, happy Thanksgiving.